A very good evening to all. We thank all our respected dignitaries and my fellow VJTIs for being a part of this event. I now request the dignitaries of our event, our distinguished alumni, Mr. Harish Tibrewala, Mr. Dinanath Kholkar, and Ms. Shalini Pillai, Director of VJTI, Dr. Dhiren Patel, Mrs. Sandra Shroff, Chairman of VJTI Alumni Association, Mr. Kalyan Raman, and Honorary Secretary of VJTI Alumni Association, Mr. Ka Vijay Kamle, to please take their seats on the stage. We are absolutely delighted to welcome you all to this alumni get-together. We compliment the VJTI Alumni Association for facilitating this union this year by tackling the predicaments and transition taking place in this post-pandemic era. As is rightly said, wherever you go and whatever ends you pursue, you must always fulfill the trust reposed in you by your nation, parents, and alma mater. All of our alumni have without a doubt fulfilled this responsibility with utmost genuineness and vigor. For us, you are the ones who made BJTI so eminent and distinguished by largely influencing the nation's progress in most sectors in its 134 years of glorious existence. Joining us today are BJTIs spanning across several decades, which rightly epitomizes what they say about alma maters. First, you are a part of it, and then it becomes a part of you. I, Avni Maharik, a third year BTEC production engineering. And I, Ruchadesh Pandey, of second year BTEC EXTC engineering, will be our host for today's grand evening. We would like to begin our event by lighting the lamp to mark the commencement of today's luminous evening. I'd like to call forth all the dignitaries seated on the stage for the same. For every achievement of ours, the resources of the nation and the blessing of the Almighty are often unvoiced. On this note, I invite Sanika and Parvati from third year BTEC Electronics to recite the Saraswati Vandana.
I now request everyone to kindly rise for the national anthem. I invite Chaitanya, Chirag, Yashita, Parvati and Sanika to recite the same. Thank you, Chaitanya, Chirag, Yashita, Parvati and Sanika for such a melodious and spiritual start to our evening. Mr. Kalyan Raman, an alumnus of the 1984 batch of Mechanical Engineering, chairs the Alumni Association. For the past 10 years, he has played a pivotal role in the association's activities and growth. I'd like to invite him to deliver his welcome address. Hello. A very good evening to all of you. The director of VJTI, Dr. Diren Patel, past principals, directors, professors of VJTI, distinguished alumni who are sought to be felicitated today evening for the, what they have achieved in life after they have left out VJTI. The current dedicated faculty and staff of VJTI the alumni and the current students of VJTI, the managing committee members of VJTI Alumni Association and the Board of Governors of VJTI International Alumni Association, 
ladies and gentlemen i extend a warm welcome to each one of you to this august gathering i would also thank mrs sandra shroff the ex chairperson of board of governors for having taken out her time and come and grace this occasion at a very short notice thank you ma'am the world has really gone through a tough time over the last 2 years i sincerely hope that you the members of your family and the near and dear ones are healthy and safe and pray almighty for the well being of one and all your association has been very active since more than a decade and a half and has undertaken projects in terms of infrastructure development upgraded various laboratories like the iot laboratory upgraded various classrooms given financial assistance to a lot of needy students and also aided the current students to pursue their extracurricular activities detailed list of completed projects of vjti alumni association is there on our website at vjti www.vjtialumni.com the capstone project that we completed was the total renovation of kranti jyoti Jyo savitri bai phule auditorium where we have assembled today our brilliant students have actively participated in various national and international competitions and have brought laurels to vjti our hearty congratulations to all those students all these projects have been possible through generous contributions from various alumni both alumni from within india as well as overseas alumni recently the alumni of the electronics 93 batch collected an amount of about 1.07 crores for <laughs> upgradation of the iot laboratory this collection was spearheaded by the vjti international alumni association i once again request let us put our hands together and give them a resounding round of applause for what, for this phenomenal achievement going forward we are planning to tap corporate bodies for their csr funds to set up chair professorships in various departments this way we can retain the services of the retired faculty post their retirement vjti would be completing 100 years of its existence at matunga in the year 2023 we are intending to have uh, we are intending to celebrate this milestone through a year long act series of festivities i earnestly appeal to all of you to come forward in large numbers and make this centenary event a grand success let us all work together to make this institution to take this institution to loftier heights before i conclude i would like to thank all the members of my managing committee and also the office staff for having rendered their unstinted support in taking the association forward we shall now get going with this today's evening activity and i am sure all of us will have a wonderful time thank you all and have a very pleasant day thank you mr kalyan raman for such a warm welcome address one amongst our many assets is vjti's director dr dhiren patel who apart from being a world class educationist and administrator has been a great supporter of the activities of the alumni association dr dhiren patel is a globally acclaimed technologist in blockchain technology he is also one of the founding members of josa the joint seat allocation authority responsible for successfully inducting a single window system for undergraduate admission to the iits and nits of india he has always been the kind of person that leads by example vjti has reached greater pinnacles of glory under his guidance following a series of unprecedented crises related to the conduction of exams online and the delayed exams results at the onset of covid-19 the governor of maharashtra his excellency shivadyasagar rao 
appointed Dr. Dharen Patel as the acting Pro Vice Chancellor of the University of Mumbai for his rare expertise in this regard. This year, he'll be completing five years as the director at VJTI. To honor this achievement, we would like to call forth Mrs. Sandra Shroff, former chairperson of the Board of Governors of VJTI, to felicitate Dr. Dharen Patel. Thank you, Mrs. Sandra. I now would like to call forth Dr. Dharen Patel to address us. Good evening, dignitaries on dais and there are many more dignitaries of dais. Our beloved alumni, faculty members, head of the departments, dean, staff, students, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to VJTI Mumbai. VJTI thrives because of its highly talented and proven brand ambassadors. All I knew about VJTI while appearing for the director interview was the name, or is the name, Veer Mata Jijabai Technological Institute. And it has a rank up in the lower half of uh, NIRF. And quickly I found that this is the institute which has been responsible for pioneering the training, education, and uh, technical research facilities in Sark region since 1887. We quickly figured out that it has only also been instrumental in setting up IITs post-independence during the era 1955 to 1960. And I also found that this is the place where all toppers are joining the institution if they miss IIT Bombay. So when I joined in June 2007 as a director, immediately I attended a function at IIT Bombay, and uh, some of my friends warned me, uh, Dr. Patel, why did you come to VJTI? It's a very difficult place, and dynamics are different, and this and that. I said, look, somebody has to take up the challenges. In fact, whatever they told me, which has inspired me, okay, there are lots of challenges and plenty of opportunities. I sense immediately two strong arms to help me a very good BJTI Board of Governors, led by Madam Sandra Sroff, and a strong and vast base of BJTI alumnus. I still recall that first meeting with few old alumni, including office bearers at that time, warmly greeted me at, in my office and assured me of full support to steer the seat in the right direction. Thank you, guys. I acknowledge your unconditional support of BJTI's immensely talented graduates contributing in engineering capacity building globally and helping our country quickly becoming a technologically self-reliant nation. Student and alumni are our true brand ambassadors. Our institute is known for attracting the best student and producing high quality engineers and researchers, improving students' satisfaction level and empowering them with new opportunities are core principles of BJTI. We are blessed with our huge alumni base and very supportive alumni association, now associations, we have US Alumni Association as well, helping us in many ways and keeping our flags high. We are continuously augmenting our teaching, learning, and research environment, work, and personal lives, considering institution vision and mission of building the next generation of technocrats, innovators, and visionaries, and taking technology to society. With the continued support and supervision of Alumnus, institute, uh, institute has moved forward in maintaining its aging building infrastructure and creating and augmenting labs. With a mission of keeping VJTI clean, green, and environmental friendly, we are successfully doing repairs and restoration, 
of our old heritage building and other facilities and giving decent look to the institute. We are aligned our mission to the challenges associated with United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and working on local and universally acceptable innovative solutions made in VJTI for the global good. Recently, in March 2022, World Bank team visited us and acknowledged our contribution in uplifting technical education quality in the country. In spite of many challenge, challenges, we have simplified and aligned continuous evolution with substantial reforms in curriculum and examination system. We have successfully set up technology-based incubator, rapid prototyping facility, uh, advanced facility, and digital twin of power, power stations. And I've been considered as the best facility in the country. We are in the process of setting up new centers of excellence at all departments. We are aligning our curriculum to the latest pedagogical practices, emphasizing project-oriented learning and technologies for solving the problems for society. On personal front, specifically academic and research, I dived into teaching also, and I taught elective course on blockchain technology at VJTI for three successive years. We organized faculty development programs, strengthened TBI, and brought new sponsored research projects from government of India and industry pioneers and partners. Consider uh, consolidating on collaborative research, academic excellence, and mobility fronts. We have created a partnerships with France. In fact, I have uh, visited France in first half of December 2021, and it's uh, Omicron scare. Visited a uh, couple of, or rather, uh, six, seven institutions in France. Uh, World Nuclear Exhibition in Paris, participated in N plus I VIP program to build and strengthen the partnership on faculty and student exchange, and had meetings with French higher studies regulatory and accre accreditation bodies. We have also hosted recently Fulbright specialist, uh, prof full professor from SMU Dallas, USA, during the second half of March 2022 at VJTI, and conducted research methodology tutorial finishing schools for VJTI students, curriculum workshop, and PhD scholar reviews. Technology-based incubator at VJTI under Department of Science and Technology Nidhi TBI project has attracted top-notch entrepreneurs, and we have a thriving startup ecosystem in place now. We are enabling students to take advantage of summer internships at top industries, research organizations, and institutions. And for facilitating this initiative, we look forward to our alumni. We are still among the most respected campuses. We have excellent placement record with both in terms of quality and uh, quantity, even amidst the COVID scare. We stand ready for the ambitious task of re-establishing ourselves as an institute of global stature, which we were long back. We can contribute to the nation's building through technology. I acknowledge the enormous contribution and confidence alumni and well-wishers have placed in the institute. However, VJTI is not what it was. Now, VJTI BOG is defunct since January 2020. VJTI is currently put in the basket with other government engineering colleges under the Board of Societies, where uh, Minister of Education, Higher Education is the chairman. Would you like to be called alumni of that fine, glorious VJTI or an auditory, ordinary one? You decide. I urge you to stand up and to raise your voice to rejuvenate uh, BOG as we consolidate our experiences from our eventful past. We are now crafting a step-by-step -step vision for our future. Our focus has been innovation, and we expect that the lessons we picked up along the way will help the next phase of, of our growth. I wish you all the great success and look forward to your continued association with the Alma Mater in its quest for excellence. Thank you for your time and attention. So, we cannot thank you enough for your unwavering support and persistent efforts for us, the students, as well as the Institute. Thank you for your address. I now call upon Mrs. Sandra Shroff to share some words of wisdom with us. Hello, 
well wishers, contributors, and people who really love BJTI. It's a wonderful campus. We're so lucky to have a campus like this in Bombay. There are very few educational institutions who have any campus at all, and especially schools need them, but they don't have them. And as um, Professor Diram Patel said, we have to get together and we have to save this institution. Uh, it's, it's started on an upward phase, but that has to continue. And uh, without that continuing, then we'll fall back again. And that would be very, very sad indeed. This beautiful auditorium has been contributed by the alumni. We are so grateful to have it. I still talk as if I'm here. <laughs> um, but it's, it's really nice and it was very necessary and uh, uh, we should call Surish Prabhu again to speak here um, before you leave, uh, and I'm sure he'll come, um, because he was complaining about the shabby uh, auditorium and shabby other things as well, but all has been put right, right? So um, that is also necessary to uh, get people um, who can influence others to work for us. I, I request you all to work together and make sure that VJTI regains its stature that it has in, had in the past. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra, ma'am, for your words of encouragement. On to the key part of our function that is, the felicitation ceremony, to acknowledge the efforts of those who are a great source of motivation to the current batches and as well as of great pride to the Institute. I'd like to commence it with our first dignitary. He has been recognized as Social Media Professional of the Year by the World Brand Congress. He is none other than Mr. Harish Tibrewala, Joint CEO of Miram India. India's leading digital media marketing agency. I'd like to call on stage Mr. Sanjay Mehta to introduce to everyone Mr. Harish Chiprewala and his fields. Very good evening, everyone, uh, respected dignitaries uh, and fellow alumni and students. It is indeed a pleasure to be on this stage after many, many years. Uh, this was a stage where over the four years that we were students, uh, it, it seemed like a regular affair. And so it's, it's really great to come back. And also, it is indeed a proud privilege to see Dr. Gupchup again. He was our principal when we were here for four years. So it's, it's extremely nice to have met you today. Uh, it is indeed a proud privilege for me to introduce uh, one who is, was my classmate for four years at VJTI, who was my classmate for another year and a half at USC, where we went together to do our MS, who has been my uh, partner in business for more than 20 years, and who has also been a co-author of the book that we've written together, but most importantly, I, I'm, it's a pleasure to introduce my very dear friend, Harish Tibrewala. Um, Harish and I met very coincidentally right outside this auditorium for the first time, way back in 1981, when we were in the first year of engineering. Uh, we were in different divisions, but uh, we were introduced by uh, a common friend, Gautam Sura. And uh, that was the day, and today is the day, more than 40 years later. Somehow, I think there was something in the stars that you know, our, our destinies were completely intertwined. And uh, 
we've been we've been headed together for all these years with various things, like whether it was being classmates uh, and then of course business partners and something about the destiny. Uh, I mean, there's a lot that we I could speak about us, but today is Harish's day, and I'm going to switch to talk about him rather than the two of us. Uh, and I indeed believe that I'm in the most privileged position to introduce him because I think I know him better than uh, most people on this planet, uh, including his wife, Mala, who's here. Because not only have I known him longer, but I have known him in those college days uh, and in, the, in, those, in those US days. Uh, and there were so many things that I'm sure he has not told you, Mala, uh, <laughs> of those early <laughs> college days. And I, I have no intention today to spill those beans uh, on stage here for Arish. But uh, let me get some of the fundamental details out of the way before I give you some small insight about uh, personal insight that I have. But uh, just, you know, I'm sure there is a lot of intrigue with everybody that who is this person who is being felicitated as a distinguished alumni. So let me give you a little background about his, uh, you know, his career in his life. So after uh, completing Vijayati, I mean, uh, BE in electrical engineering in 1985, Harish went and uh, did his master's in electrical and computer engineering from University of Southern California. After that, he spent uh, uh, about uh, six months in Germany for training and then returned back and then joined a, a business in management consulting and in plastics. After that, it was in about 97, 98 that in fact he and I got together for our first startup. The startup was called uh, homeindia.com. It was a business which was uh, uh, an e-commerce business. We were selling ethnic Indian products from India to customers outside India. Uh, we ran that for a good 10 years. We did not make too much money out of it. When you don't make money, you, make exper you get experience, and that's what we got. It was a very, very rich experience that uh, we collected. I mean, it, we were perhaps a little ahead of our times. Uh, in fact, the 2007, when we divested out of the business, was probably early years when you know e-commerce was even coming into India and so we had already done nine, ten years of e-commerce before that. So we were probably too uh, ahead of times. But all that experience converted into a book. So uh, a book on entrepreneurship, uh, which again he and I co-authored. It was called If I Had to Do It Again. So interesting the title, If I Had to Do It Again. It was about, okay, all the learnings from that first experience and how we could do it differently if we had another opportunity. And we indeed got another opportunity in 2009 is when Harish and I co-founded a next startup and it was called Social Wavelength. It was originally a social media marketing agency and uh, over, uh, over the time it is now a full services digital uh, agency and uh, as all those learnings of what maybe didn't do as well in the first venture and all the other wisdom that we gathered over the years was put into place here and there was a relentless drive uh, from Harish to make sure that this time we get it right in, in all respects, high level of growth, high level of you know, building value. And that led to the venture being uh, acquired, a majority stake being acquired by WPP Group, which is one of the largest advertising and marketing group in the world. So they acquired the business in 2014. And uh, Harish continues to be with the business today as joint CEO. And, uh, other joint CEO is myself, so we continue to run it. So that's been the career span. Uh, in between, of course, Harish has uh, got married to Mala, and uh, a, a, a wonderful person, and they have, they have two lovely children, uh, Sachi and uh, Raghav. Harish lives in a joint family with his parents and his brother's family. Uh, beyond all that, he has had leadership qualities from day one, right from the time that uh, he was here at Vijayati. Uh, he, he was part of the literary activities committee. He was a, a part of the editorial, I mean, editorial team which brought out the college magazine. He was very, very active in the engineering, uh, electrical engineering students association. Uh, uh, he has been president of his Rotary Club. He has had leadership positions in Indian Merchants Chamber and other such bodies. Harish has not let, you know, learning is very key to him. Uh, Harish has, uh, beyond completing MS and everything, he has found time and space and made it a, an effort to keep enhancing his knowledge. He has, he, some time back, he went to the Singularity University in California for a very special program 
And uh, more recently, he has uh, completed a, a program with, from Harvard Business School. So he, you know, he's always, it doesn't matter that today we might be sitting at a different age, uh, but learning has to be a continuous uh, thing, and that's what Harish embodies. Um, Harish also actually came back to teach here at Vijayati as an external guest faculty. So there is a close bond that Harish has with Vijayati, which never ended after just graduating. He spent almost 10 years, he, has, uh, he had been coming back as a guest faculty, uh, you know, working with Professor K.M. Kulkarni. So that's all about the, you know, the facts there. Uh, if I, as somebody who knows him very well, if I have to add a couple of more things, uh, you know, hard work has been something that he's always epitomized. Uh, besides that, uh, huge uh, focus, huge value on integrity. So, I mean, you know, the facts, a lot of times uh, we are asked that how does a partnership of classmates go on for like, you know, 30, 40 years? And I think one of the key factors is a high level of integrity. So there is huge amount of trust, and not just between us, but you know, I'll give you an example. So like I mentioned to you, homeindia.com was a business that somewhere we were a little ahead of times, and it uh, you know it didn't have the uh, the kind of end uh, result in terms of wealth building, etc., that we would have liked. We had to actually divest out of it. Now it's it was not the best of exit, but we even in those difficult times. We were very clear, and Harish was very clear that every single person who, who, who we owed money, whether it was our employees, whether it was our vendors, will be paid the last money, last paisa. It was not about, you know, it's not working out, let's just get out and, you know, everybody, uh, whatever happens, it's not like that. It was, it was very clear that we needed to be sure that everybody who worked with us had always, you know, had to be given their dues. And another uh, one last more personal incident that I want to narrate in it, it is, it's happened long, long back, but it remains in my mind. So Harish went to USC and I went also, but I went a term later. And uh, USC is a school which is located in downtown Los Angeles. And downtown Los Angeles, the campus is located in an area, you know, besides the campus, all around it is not, not the best of uh, Los Angeles areas, at least in those days, it was tough neighborhood. Uh, there was a lot of mugging which used to happen in the night. So our, our, we were staying in an apartment which was a little away from the campus. It was, it was walking distance or, or in the university even had a vehicle which would keep dropping you off. But you know in college days you had to work late for projects. So one of the days I was working very late and I got done uh, with my work maybe around 12.30, 1 or something. And uh, there were those, those university cars and all were not there. And I was definitely concerned. I had recently uh, got to that school. Harish was one term ahead of me, as I said. And uh, I, I was concerned about walking back because all those fears that our seniors had put that, you know, this is a tough neighborhood. If you walk, you, there's every chance that you'll get marked and all that. So I called Harish and said, you know what? I'm just going to sleep here because, I mean, this is not the time. I'll, I'll come in the morning. I was quite prepared to do so. And uh, Harish would not have any of that. He said, hang on. I'll come in pick you up. I mean, not that he had a car. So he was going to walk that same street, which I was afraid to go. So he would walk two ways. So he would come first alone to the school, uh, fetch me, and then we'll walk back on that same difficult street. But that's what he did. And I was like, it's been many, many years, but can't seem to forget that, uh, I mean, uh, you know, that, that choice he made. So, but that's what Harish is, uh, uh, you know, always a wonderful friend. Besides everything else that I mentioned about his academic and professional, uh, you know, success and qualification, leadership and everything, but like I said, for me, the most important thing is the friendship that we have enjoyed all these years. Uh, this sounds, you know, the a distinguished alumni award kind of thing sounds like a lifetime achievement award, which is usually given to somebody who wants to retire. I need to tell Harish that we still have a long way to go in our business, <laughs> many miles to go before we sleep. So. Let's not think about it as a last thing. Yeah, that's Harish. Over to you. We thank you, Mr. Mehta, for the wonderful introduction. I now would like to call forth Mr. V.C. Kamli, Honorary Secretary of PJTI Alumni Association, to read the citation.
a warm good evening to all dignitary on the dais of the dais my professor at that time and principal and director gupchup sir all professors and alumni friends it's my privilege to be here to honor such great personalities who passed amongst us only but he has achieved something in his life so i am reading the citation of mr harish tibrewala it is with honor and pride that vjti alumni association on this 23rd day of april 2022 felicitates mr harish tibrewala with a distinguished alumnus award sir we are indeed privileged to have an alumnus of your stature amongst us sir your success story is notable for praise and celebration you have been recognized as social media professional of the year by the world brand congress impact magazine has recognized you among the top 100 digital influencers in india you are source of motivation and inspiration for all of us and it is our great pleasure to have your august presence amongst us today you have done b from vjti in elec com computer engineering or electric electrical engineering and then masters of science from university of southern california usa currently you are the joint ceo of miram india which is india's leading digital media marketing agency miram india has a pan pan india presence with a team of 300 plus and works with more than 50 national and international brands notably wpp network has recently acquired miram india you have also appointed as the chairperson of the digital technology committee of the indian merchant chambers of commerce and industry perseverance hard work visionary leadership and entrepreneurship have been your hallmarks notably miram india being the third entrepreneurial venture stands as an epitome of resilient leadership your achievements inspire us and instill upon us the significance of the resilience your leadership is a benchmark for all the entrepreneurs as it dresses itself versatility competence and zeal you have been stalwart in your field your ability to lead from the front and make an impact on the people is one of a kind your strong sense of responsibility eye for the detail and determination is something we looked up to the amazon best seller book if i had to do it again authored by you is a memoir of your first internet venture homeindia.com and it is must read for all budding and aspiring entrepreneurs it is with great joy and pride that we the chairman and members of vjti alumni association celebrate your outstanding journey and felicitate you with this distinguished alumnus award it is with profound respect admiration and pride that we salute your contribution to the industry and society as someone who rose from humble beginning to the climax of success we wish you a very best of your future endeavors and hope that you have a healthy and fulfilling life ahead chairman and members of the vjt alumni association and now i request mr harish to accept our felicitation
Thank you, Mr. Kamle. I now request Mr. Harish Tibrewala to grace us with a few words of encouragement. Good evening, everyone. I start by thanking Sanjay for his kind words. You know, as you can see, my life is very closely intertwined with Sanjay's life. Thank you, Vijay for this honor. I, I have been blessed in my life to receive uh, many recognitions and honors, both for myself personally as well as for, for my business. But get, getting honor from your alumni is something indeed, indeed very special. From the Temple of Knowledge, from the Alma Mater, you know, where, where we have been getting this kind of an honor is indeed uh, very special. So thank you so much for that. I have been an entrepreneur all my life, so I will uh, take the opportunity of sharing some life lessons, you know, for the benefit of uh, budding entrepreneurs and aspiring entrepreneurs. The, the first life lesson is around the importance of education. It is, it is very fashionable nowadays to run down education by citing the example of Bill Gates who was a Harvard dropout or Mark Zuckerberg who never went to college or closer home Dhirubhai Ambani who was just matric pass. But we need to realize that all these examples are outliers. The median lies somewhere else. A few years back I was reading a study on successful entrepreneurs which was a survey of about 500 entrepreneurs globally, big, small, all kind of industries and some very interesting findings from that study. 50% of all those successful entrepreneurs had a master's degree. At least 20% of those were PhDs. The average age for a successful entrepreneur is not 25 or 27, it is 45. And most of these people had already failed in life at least once or twice before they had become success. So what is the learning from all of this? the chance of becoming successful through good education actually is much higher than trying your luck by dropping out of college and hoping you'll make money. And the second is the importance of persistence. Do not give up. These are the two important lessons that, that you learn from this. The other fact I want to emphasize while we talk on education is the importance of continuing education. We believe, especially in our country, that the moment you're out of college, education is over. Nothing is far from truth. In today's world, you need to learn and unlearn every day. Education has to be a constant process. The best investment you can make is not in gold or real estate or property. It is really in yourself. You must find a way every year to set aside some money and some time to learn something new. It can be directly related to your work, it could, could be something new area, but keep on learning to stay relevant. The, the, the second life lesson I want to share around is work-life balance. You know, in, in the younger generation, we keep hearing about stress and work-life balance. When I was a kid, we never knew what was the meaning of the word stress. You know, this, this Western philosophy of work-life balance makes us believe that work is the opposite of life. Work is something that we must do Monday to Friday, this really bad thing, so that two days, Saturday, Sunday, we can enjoy life. This is not my philosophy. My philosophy is closer to the oriental way of thinking of finding your ikigai. Find out what are you passionate about. Find out are you good at your passion? Find out do people require that service? Find out if people are willing to pay for it. If you build these four concentric circles, the middle of that circle is actually your ikigai. And when you start pursuing your ikigai, work is no longer work. Work is a purpose. Work is a mission. So to me, life and work are two continuums that run in parallel. And you cannot shut one to, to do the other. So find your ikigai, then going with this Western philosophy of work-life balance. The third thought I, thought I want to share is around leadership. You know, Having been a leader for, for a large part of my life, you find two kinds of leaders. There are people who are very detail-oriented, who will get into every small nitty-gritty, very process-oriented, look need a lot of information, and are extremely risk-covers. And then you have leaders who are, who are they think, think big things, big dreams, but, but they fear execution. But really what makes a good leader is the ability to blend both these skills together. You need to be a visionary, you need to be a strategist, and you need to be good at execution. 
when I want to give an analogy of a, of, of a good or a strong leader, think of this bird eagle. The eagle flies very high, 8,000, 10,000 feet, whatever, and has a very large vision, almost flying very calmly. But if something moves on the ground, the smallest of the worm moves, it can immediately dive in and pick up that worm. It has that sharp eyes. That has to be the personality of a leader, the ability to zoom in and zoom out, the ability to think vision as well as execution exactly when required. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank a few people for, for, for the award that I have here. I want to thank two of them, and both of them happen to be in the audience. The first is my wife, Mala. The life of an entrepreneur is, 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 is a very hard life. You know, we, we only see the success stories. We don't see the failures. And there was a point of time in my life when, when I had a challenge putting food on the table or paying for kids' education. Around that time, you know, when I used to see my friends, they used to all go for vacation to London and Paris. And the furthest we went was Lonavala and Pune. So standing behind me in those, in those very tough times and allowing me to chase my dream and my aspiration. I mean, thank you so much, Mala, for being there. You, you, you cannot be a successful entrepreneur without the support of your spouse or support of your family. And the second person I want to thank is Sanjay Mehta. Like Sanjay revealed, we, we, we met at VGTI 41 years back. Of these 41 years, we have been partners for 23 years. And in a world where brothers find it hard to become partners, it's remarkable that we have navigated this journey. And Sanjay has actually been my better office at office. He brings to table everything that I don't have. And together we are able to complement and build something wonderful. So thank you, Sanjay, for, for being there for me. I'd like to end, end this once again with uh, thanks to Vijayte for bestowing this honor. I feel really humbled. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir, for those insightful words of encouragement. We are sure that the young generation watching us right now is taking notes on your go-get-it attitude. We hope to channel our efforts and energy in the right direction, just like you did. We now move on to our next awardee. He is currently the Global Head of the Analytics Insights Unit of Tata Consultancy Services. In this role, he guides some of the world's best companies in their journeys to unlock the potential of their data through the power of analytics and artificial intelligence. Yes, I'm talking about Mr. Dinanath Kolkar. To know more, I would request Mr. Amit Chandra, who is currently the chairperson at Bean Capital India, a widely well-known philanthropist and a very dear friend of Mr. Dinanath Kolkar, since his days at VJTI to enlighten us with the many roles of Mr. Dinanath Kolkar. Good evening, uh, my principal, Dr. Gupchip. Uh, dignitaries on and off the dais, uh, fellow alum uh, and young friends. It's uh, truly my honor that the association has asked me to speak a few words on behalf of all my batchmates about my good friend, Dina Nath. Uh, I know him as Dina and I'll refer to him that way. Uh, we all know that Dina has risen to great heights that very few alum of VGTI have risen to. Uh, TCS is a $175 billion market cap company, one of the most valuable companies in the world. As its global head of analytics, he plays a pivotal role in the organization and with its clients. He has also been recognized as one of the 100 most influential data leaders and visionaries globally. Of course, he's technically really good at his job, but so are lacks of engineers that not just TCS employs, but all of India's IT leaders employs. So how did he get there? What does he do and what does he mean to all of us? I will take you back to 1985, 1987, when all of us trooped into this campus and started to just get to know one another. My earliest impression of Dina is that he was one of the most diligent and sincere students of our class. 
that particularly extended to diverse subjects like technical drawing and the carpentry lab. In fact, the joke going around our class was that Dina was born in a house, the furniture of which he helped design. But more seriously, our class in BJTI was actually filled with toppers and serious students, except for some riffraff like me. The vast majority was trying to get ahead in the rat race of exams. And then there were some of us who would struggle. One of my closest friends, Surat Dugli, who, like me, went through a rough phase in his third year and flunked a couple of subjects, reminded me of his interactions with Dina, who wasn't a good friend of his back then. Dina one day walked up to him in the quad right around the corner and in the most calm and reassuring voice told him, you know you are good. We all know you are good. It's okay to hit a rough patch. You'll get back on track. Dina had Surud's back when he didn't need to. Surud today is a successful founder of a company in the US and they are really good friends and constantly engage on issues. Our class at BJTI might have had many good engineers, but very few people have actually emerged as good leaders. People who genuinely cared about the well-being of others. It is that characteristic when combined with the desire to effectively communicate widely that ultimately made people like Dina and Surud good managers and finally good leaders. My other good friend and classmate, Viren Khandekar, a very successful semiconductor industry leader in Dallas, says that while there are search engines like Google and LinkedIn for professional networking, if you have a friend like Dina, you don't need any of those. I think it would be fair to say that Dina makes a really serious effort to be the glue that holds our class together, even after 33 years of graduation. He has done all this by communicating with as many classmates as possible and organizing events and get-togethers. It is important to note that the old classmate we knew, who was really studious and reserved, and I have no idea when this transformation to this buzzing social butterfly actually happened, but it is fair to say that he must have really put in a very serious effort into it, and it has served him really well and all those who he connects so well. Let me elaborate a little bit on these aspects and how much energy he puts into communicating so that things happen not just for his own sake, but actually for the sake of others. As I was looking back into my phone through all the communication I've had with Dina over the past many years, I realized that none of it has actually been any professional communication. And this is despite the fact that I've had close communication with the Tata group, of which he's a senior leader, and I was a board member of Tata Sons for many years, but not once did we co communicate anything about business. However, we frequently have communicated about a wide range of topics relating to common interests. First example, the IoT lab, which I just visited, a case in point. It would not have been possible if it wasn't for the close coordination between Dina and Professor Daruwala right here, and the alum who donated to make it possible. It is a template for what more can be done by alum like us working together with the institution. There have been multiple instances when Dina has reached out to many of us to highlight the acute stress of a classmate, be it a health issue or a financial issue, and make sure that something is done to address it. He was there when a, as a caring brother when one of us and uh, that person's spouse went through a real serious problem in COVID, ensuring daily monitoring and making sure that there was a backup medical plan should the situation warrant. Given our common love for the agriculture set sector in Maharashtra, he's always sharing interesting ideas in that space and connecting me to people in it. And finally, he's always there to give advice to classmates based on his business acumen that he has accumulated over the years. Friends, on behalf of my fellow classmates, I want to thank BJTI and the Alam Association for selecting Dina for this award. I can think of no one else who's more deserving of this than him. Please join me in praying for his continued good health, happiness, and prosperity. For with his success, many flowers will bloom. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chandra, for making us aware of the great accomplishments of Mr. Dinanath Kolkar. I now request Dr. Darwala to read the citation.
dignitaries on the dais, dignitaries off the dais, my student friends, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to read the honor citation for my dear friend, Dinanath Kholkar. It is with honor and pride that VJTI Alumni Association on this day, the 23rd day of April 2022, felicitates Mr. Dinanath Kolkar. Indeed, Dina, as we him, call him, it's a rare privilege to have in you a distinguished alumnus, an eminent thought leader, a data visionary, and above all, a great motivator. The milestones in your professional journey are numerous. With bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from VJTI, you joined HCL Technologies as a Unix support engineer. You then joined Tata Consultancy Services as a technology support engineer. You rose through the ranks in this mammoth organization through sheer hard work and intelligence, culminating now in a row in now in a leadership role as vice president and global head of analytics and insights. In this role, you are guiding some of the world's best companies in their journey to unlock the potential of their data through driving business growth. Every role you have taken up so far has an element of newness and challenge, where business systems had to be created from scratch. You are passionate about using technology to solve customers' problems and creating empowered teams that win. You have been felicitated and honored with a plethora of awards. Some notable ones are Data IQ Top 100 Most Influential People in Data, Hot Topics Global Top 100 Data Visionaries, Analytics India Magazine 50 Most Influential AI Leaders in India 2021, 3 AI Top 150 AI Analytics Leaders and Influencers Globally. You have been invited for keynote talks and guest lectures at many prestigious events, including IEEE conferences. You have been actively involved with not-for-profit organizations who work with a missionary zeal for the have-nots of the world. You have been supporting orphanages, NGOs working in the field of education and vocational training, also acted as advisor to some of these NGOs and contributed to their fundraising efforts. Your efforts to marry technology with farming through the IEEE Pune section has shown exemplary results in affordable and sustainable farming. As an ardent lover of arts, you have contributed to the preservation of Indian arts, especially Maharashtra's arts and culture by working very closely and tirelessly with the famed Kelkar Museum of Pune. You have spent quality time pro bono working with Pune Smart City Mission to help solve challenges and growing of a growing city like your hometown Pune, using technology at your disposal. We recognize your active involvement at VJTI in various capacities. You have played a major and crucial role in setting up the most modern IoT lab and the other infrastructure. You have been an eminent speaker at various VJTI events and have mentored faculty and students alike. Your contributions to governance at VJTI as a member of the Board of Governors have been widely appreciated. You are a true friend of VJTI. It is with profound respect, admiration, and pride that we salute your role as a passionate motivator who rose from humble beginnings to the climax of success. Your contributions in high technology domains have immensely benefited society. 
Your life journey is a true inspiration for all of us. We, the chairman and the members of VJTI Alumni Association, felicitate and celebrate your life journey as a creator of new technologies and solvers of day-to-day -day problems of society with immense pride. We wish you all success. <laughs> chairman and members of the VJTI Alumni Association. Thank you, Dr. Daruwala, for reading the citation. We'll now felicitate Mr. Kolkar on behalf of the VJTI Alumni Association for his extraordinary achievements with the Distinguished Alumnus Award. I request Dr. Daruwala, along with Mr. Amit Chandra, to felicitate Mr. Kolkar on behalf of the VJTI Alumni Association. While congratulating Mr. Dinanath Kolkar for being amongst our most distinguished alumni, I thank Mr. Amit Chandra and Dr. Daruwala for felicitating him. I now request Mr. Dinanath Kolkar to grace us with a few words of wisdom. Good evening, dear friends, uh, respected dignitaries on the dais, uh, off the dais, uh, uh, friends from my class, uh, fellow alumnus, uh, teaching staff, uh, Professor Gupchup, Mrs. Shroff. It's, uh, it's really an honor uh, to receive this uh, award uh, from the alma mater. It is also a matter of great pride for me and also many people okay, who have probably uh, seen me grow through the years. Uh, my dear friends, uh, my batchmates, uh, all my teachers, my colleagues, my parents, my wife, my son, my extended family members, many of my mentors over the years, and many who have contributed in my journey. I think uh, I stand here to accept this on their behalf. It is they who have contributed to what I am today. I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Uh, B. R. Kalyan Raman, the chairman of the VJTI Alumni Association, and uh, Professor Daruwala, who is the dean of student activities and alumni affairs for this honor, and uh, also a, a couple of my uh, dear colleagues who uh, nominated me for this uh, recognition. And I would like to thank our director, Diren Patel, and the management team of VJTI who have done an amazing work despite of all their challenges. I'd also like to congratulate my uh, fellow alumnus who are award winners at uh, today's event. Congratulations to both of you all. Just want to take a step back at the journey. Uh, I studied electrical engineer from uh, 1985 to 89. And I'm very closely connected with various developments in the energy sector, uh, thanks to my association with IEEE, and various initiatives on sustainable, renewable energy, uh, various efforts related to carbon neutrality where I've been involved with in the city of Pune. However, the electives that I had chosen 
in my final year on electronics and on computer science created an excellent launch pad for my career at TCS and in the IT industry. And I must specially uh, call out the influence and contribution that uh, Professor Daruwala uh, on enabling that launch pad for all of us, uh, building that belief that in us, uh, that we engineers could move the world. I'm sure many of my friends will remember the t-shirt that we had and the words which we actually called out so very proudly about we engineers could move the world. Sir has continued to be a great source of inspiration to me and many of our uh, other colleagues and other friends. And we are indebted to him for all what he has done for BJTI. So I'd like a round of applause for Professor Daruwala and his <laughs> contributions to BJTI over many years. There were others uh, who have made a lot of difference during my uh, uh, four years at VJT and like to thank them. Uh, our project guide, Professor Lande, our HOD, Professor S.K. Kulkarni, our principal, Dr. Gupchup, Professor Varvankar, Professor Mangalvedekar, Professor Bhatt, Professor Patekar, Professor Mrs. Zog, Professor Mrs. Dandekar, Professor S.D. Bhagwat, Professor Mahale, Professor Thakur, Professor Patel, Professor Radhika Srinivas, and many more. One person uh, who has probably had a very significant influence uh, in my career and in my entire journey has been the late uh, Dr. F.C. Kohli, uh, popularly known as the father of the Indian IT industry, and he was also founding CEO of TCS. It was his encouragement and guidance that enabled me to contribute towards VJTI in a much more significant manner and also to the field of engineering education. Uh, it was Mr. Kohli and his vision for India that inspired me a lot to do this for the institute. And I think Amit will very fondly remember, so would Professor Daruwala, of uh, a phenomenal meeting that we had with him uh, way back in 2017. Uh, in recent times, VJTI, its researchers, uh, the innovators, the management team, and most importantly, the bright students of this institute have made a big impact and have been contributing quite significantly to nation development. Uh, just before this event, uh, Dr. Diren Patel was kind enough to take us around and show us some of the stuff that is happening. And I think uh, it's a moment of pride that our students are making difference uh, to the commitment that we have towards building India as a superpower, uh, as a knowledge power, as a digital superpower. And uh, I have been closely following the updates provided by our Dean of uh, Research and Development, Professor Kazi. Unfortunately, he couldn't be here, but he's done amazing work on attracting a uh, good amount of funding, a uh, good amount of contribution from industry and research to make a difference uh, towards uh, projects of national importance. The ranking of VJTI has improved. Uh, we've won many awards. Uh, many new industry partnerships have been forced. And we have become part of many strategic projects. And you heard Dr. Diren Patel talk about some of those. I'm very proud that we are taking those steps. But we must keep the VJTI flag flying high and aspire for more by delivering value in the technology ecosystem. For me personally, what has been very satisfying has been the setting up of the VJTI International Alumni Association. I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Rajesh Parekh and all our friends, and in fact, Niranjan is here uh, from that team who has contributed towards the same. I feel that we need a lot more participation from the alumnus of VJTI. And uh, you know, much earlier than the 25-year celebration that we generally get people together, uh, I personally regret that me and my classmates were not well connected with VJTI till we did our 25 years uh, get together. We've had some amazing talent. Uh, coming out of VJTI in our alumni network. Great industry leaders, technology experts, uh, social and political leaders, bureaucrats, and you can, the list just goes on. We must make special efforts to keep them connected with the alma mater and get them to contribute in areas that the institute needs help. Many of our current students, and it's not just about the alumnus, even the current students, I have a request to you. Your parents, your family, your connects can play an active role in the betterment of VJTI and ensuring that it functions smoothly without any interference. And I, I specifically 
uh, call out upon that, that uh, we want the institute to focus on academia research and contributing to nation development without any interference. A collective effort is called for to draw upon a charter for the next few decades of VJTI. We have a great opportunity to contributing to nation development and building the next generation of engineering graduates. For me, it has been a career of 32 years at TCS. I just finished 32 years. And uh, there has never been a dull moment. And probably, you know, many of our TCS colleagues will uh, say the same thing. I've been very blessed and uh, got many challenging assignments, different types of roles, different types of uh, people to work with, uh, leading many uh, uh, customer engagements, an amazing set of colleagues that I've worked with. Uh, it's been an amazing time uh, that I have been in TCS. Beyond TCS, I have been able to grow my professional circles through the work I do at IEEE, Pune section, and also through Pune International Center, the Maratha Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture, and also the Pune Knowledge Cluster. And I would encourage uh, you know, many of my colleagues who are here and, and um, uh, fellow alumnus that it is important for us to take that step and ask the question about what can we contribute and we not just wait for somebody else to do things but uh, as Amit said it's our own responsibility to go out and contribute and offer to help. In conclusion when I look at uh, uh, my entire journey I have been quite blessed. Uh, God gave me wonderful parents. VJTI gave me some amazing friends, amazing teachers and guides. TCS gave me an amazing career and I also met my wife Deepali, uh, Deepa as I call her, uh, in TCS. The city of Pune gave me an opportunity to contribute to the community, nation development and develop my professional network beyond my work. Uh, when I look back, I am grateful to the four years of learning and enrichment at VJTI and it's a proud moment to be here in front of you and accepting this wonderful recognition. Thank you once again and best wishes to all of you and our great alma mater VJTI. Thank you. So that was an incredible speech you just gave. We'll make sure to strive in the right direction in the upcoming years as well and always try our best as present day apprentices. Now, we move on to awarding our next dignitary. She has been a part of the India leadership team for several years, along with being a member of board for a few KPMG entities. I'm talking about none other than Shalini Pillar. Today, we have Irfan and Asma Furniturewala, Shalini Ma'am's classmates, to enlighten us with the journey she has made. Unfortunately, they could not be present for this event tonight physically, but that doesn't stop us from getting to hear about Ms. Shalini Pillar from our very dear classmates. I remember one year 
she had me memorize all the registers of all the microprocessors and all the microcontrollers that could be there for the exam. If you remember, there were 18 of them. The 8085, the 8086, the 8088, the 8251, and the dreaded 8259. And each of them had like 8 registers. And each register I think had 8 or 16 bits. Shadu, you didn't just memorize it yourself. You made me work for 10 hours a day doing that. And thank you. Because of you, I was able to get a first class in probably the first uh, semester that year. I still remember that time, and I hope you do too. Shalom, we are so proud of you. You are the epitome of grace and elegance. And my God, you are all of us. You are the first person I think of when I'm looking for a photograph from our class trip back then. No one deserves this award more than you. And we know we're just getting started. We look forward to celebrating with you in person soon, Shalom. Bye. Thank you, Irfan and Asma Farnachirwala, for this fitting introduction. I invite on stage Mr. Digan Kapadia, former chairman of VJTI Alumni Association, to read the citation. Good evening, a very warm good evening to all on the dais of the dais and the dignitaries here. I have been given the privilege of uh, reading out the citation to, as your friends call, Shalu, maybe. So let's go, Shalu. I mean, this is a verbatim say, citation which you'll get in hard copy also drafted by the reverend committees and all that. As it goes, it is with honor and pride that VGTI Alumni Association on this day, the 23rd April 2022, felicitates Ms. Shalini Pillai. Indeed, Shalini, it is a rare privilege to have in you a distinguished alumna, a known techno manager, eminent leader, in domain of people, performance, culture, richly complemented by integrity and human values, and a great ability to challenge status quo. The milestones in your professional journey are numerous. A bachelor's degree in electronics engineering from VJTI, followed by a fellowship of Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. You rose from modest beginnings as a senior accountant in Arthur Anderson, India, then joined KPMG in India and served various roles like manager, associate director, director, KPMG India, board member. As head people, performance and culture at KPMG India, you oversaw the people agenda for over 20,000 employees in India. You truly deserve the current leadership roles of India head Global Capability Centers Office Managing Partner, Bangalore, and member of the Advisory Executive <coughs> Team at KPMG India. As a trustee of the KPMG Foundation and a member of Corporate Citizenship Executive Committee, you oversaw KPMG India's efforts to have a gender equal world, a world that is diverse, equitable, and inclusive a world where difference is valued and celebrated. You laid stress on education and lifelong learning. Under your leadership, KPMG supported NGO-run schools dedicated to children of economically disadvantaged families. These schools provided holistic development to the children so that these children can attain a life of self-sufficiency and independence. Your personal interventions in the ASPIRE program of the Foundation has borne rich dividends. It has positively impacted lives of the girl-child in so many different ways. It is with profound respect 
admiration and pride that we salute your role as a passionate and astute speaker and motivator for the girl child. Your efforts have seen a large social impact. We are sure your support for technology upgradation at VJTI and for your students will be long lasting and remembered for a long time. You are a true role model for all of us. We, the chairman and members of the VJTI Alumni Association, felicitate and celebrate your life and career. We wish you all the success. Thank you, Mr. Digan Kapadia, for reading the citation. Ma'am, I request you to turn around for a quick dive into the past. These are the pictures from Shalini Ma'am's college days. This last photo is a beautiful memory of when the class of 1993 B-Tech Electronics visited VJTI on the 21st December 2018 for the Silver Jubilee celebration. I now request Mr. Digan Kapadia to kindly felicitate Shalini Ma'am on behalf of the VJTI Alumni Association for her extraordinary achievements with the Distinguished Alumna Award. While congratulating Ms. Shalini Pillai for being amongst our most distinguished alumni, we thank Mr. Digan Kapadia for felicitating her. I now request Shalini Pillai to grace us with a few words of motivation and guidance. Good evening everyone present here all the respected dignitaries, uh, the BJTI Alumni Association members, uh, faculty, students, and everyone, all BJTI's well-wishers. It is an absolutely humbling experience to be here today to share this dais actually with some of my uh, fellow recipients. And as I sat there listening to all of what they've accomplished, it truly made me feel privileged to be part of uh, uh, the team here that's being recognized. Um, as I drove in uh, to Mumbai, which has been home to me for 30 years, of course, today I live in Bangalore, and as I drove into this area, Hindu colony, Parsi colony, Mysore cafe, there was a rush of wonderful memories that came by. Then seeing Professor Daruwala took me back and uh, the last 30 years seemed to melt away. It just seemed like we were back uh, on campus. Uh, but it just is like homecoming when one comes here. So thank you yet again for giving me this honor and privilege. Um, it, it is uh, truly an honor. Uh, as I sat here today, there are a bunch of people I missed in the audience. Uh, firstly, I must say, missed my late father who today would have sat with this huge sense of pride. I still remember when I made it to the cutoff into the VJTI electronics batch in 1989. It was a big, big deal. 
miss him in the audience, my mother who couldn't be here for health reasons, and all of my friends and classmates. In fact, what you all just saw may have seemed a little, uh, a little, should I say, not so serious, but it was very special. Those are my best friends from my batch of 1993. Uh, by the way, I also saw that romance blossom in the VJTI library. <laughs> so, uh, so it's it's very special for me to have actually heard them uh, introduce me. I was just wondering as I as I watched my fellow recipients get introduced. I said, "Gosh, who do I have here?" And that meant a lot. So, a big thank you, Asma and Irfan. And I miss my batchmates. To many of them who are not here but who are watching me. Uh, thank you for your support and your confidence. I'd like to just say a few things because mine, as you may have heard, ma is not quite the regular path. But like someone said, engineers can move the world. And I truly believe that. Uh, and I must tell you a little story at the risk of boring you a bit. But when I graduated in 1993, I was all set after uh, inspired by Professor Daruwala. Uh, in the field of microprocessors to pursue a career in masters and head to the US of A. But um, unfortunately, life had a different story. For personal reasons, I couldn't quite go there. And for those of you who know 1993, electronics, hardware, I had limited options here. Uh, I had options to choose between Wipro R&D, which was, I think, pretty much going to be on the assembly line, or Arthur Anderson that chose and picked me on campus and I chose Anderson. I decided to actually follow my father's path and learn the world of business. And I decided to actually supplement my engineering skills and what the four years taught me here with uh, a little bit of commercial acumen. So I actually joined Arthur Anderson right out of campus. And I must say that till today, in some sense, I continue to be at the job that this institution placed me in. Ten years almost at Arthur Anderson, I complete two decades at KPMG today. And I still owe a lot to VJTI. VJTI actually built my foundations, taught me discipline, taught me a certain thinking, a certain rigor, a certain uh, solutioning ability, which I owe my consulting career to. Uh, I did choose this different path and one of the things I have always gone by and a, a saying uh, at the risk of sounding cliched but that has always inspired me is that comfort zone is a beautiful thing, a beautiful place but nothing ever grows there and I have quite lived my life by that. From engineering and BE tech to do my CA, from having done pure play consulting across various facets of what business consulting offers to actually then choosing to learn human resources, which is an invaluable uh, skill that I believe I learned as head of HR for KPMG, to today going back into the business world and making contributions in ways that I find truly meaningful. I find my purpose when I look at the impact one is making in the business world and that drives me and excites me. And yet again, like I said, I owe all of that to my alma mater to what I learned, the fundamentals that this institution instilled in me. Like someone said, and I think Madam Shroff said this at the beginning, uh, within the aging uh, majestic walls of this campus is a changed interior. Uh, when I had the privilege of coming and uh, looking at some of the newer labs, the newer classrooms, and felt so good to see that while one has one is restoring its uh, traditional uh, majestic facade. There is an interior that's changing and aligning to what the world wants. Uh, despite all of the challenges that this institution is currently grappling with, I think it is with open arms looking for uh, support for many more well-wishers to actually come forward and do more. India is at the cusp of some very, very dynamic change. The, the industry, the business world is crying for talent. Uh, technology is at a place like never before. So there couldn't be a better time for many of us to come forward and do more to actually 
firstly restore the pride in what VJTI has always stood for, to do so much more to actually work with the students here uh, to provide what the industry really needs. Uh, uh, like Dina said, I'll take the liberty of calling you Dina, but, uh, and you saw a picture of our uh, 25th reunion visit. Uh, I do regret that may have come at a time little late, but better late than never. I think we have uh, lots that we can do. And on behalf of my batch of 1993, I must say, I feel very proud to be part of a batch that has begun the movement of pulling together the support for this institute. You heard Asma, Irfan, many others who've been at the forefront actually garnering support for the organization. And you also heard of the contribution that our batch has made, and I'm hoping that's just the beginning to a lot more that we can do. So thank you yet again uh, for, uh, to the Alumni Association, to all the dignitaries. A big thank you, Professor Daruwala. It's a privilege to actually have uh, Dr. Gupchup here in the audience as well today. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. It was a delight hearing from a person who is such an inspiration to us. Thank you once again to grace us with your presence tonight. Now, we move on to our next and the final awardee to celebrate his life achievements, Mr. Mukesh Patel. He can be rightly described as someone with many feathers in his cap. He resides in the States and therefore couldn't be here tonight. But that doesn't stop us from knowing more about him and his journey to the top. And for that, I'd like to call upon Mr. Rajan Parurekar, his classmate and hostel roommate who has come especially from Bangalore today for this occasion to introduce Mr. Patel. Dignitaries on the dais and off the dais, ladies and gentlemen. In Paris, it's been a great pleasure to be with one's alma mater today to introduce a friend of mine, Mukesh Patel. Now, uh, we were hostelites and we had great memories and we do meet. But today, let me share with you some, some interesting aspects. I'm in Bangalore for the last uh, 32 years. I am a management consultant, so I do a lot of work on subjects like uh, emotional intelligence, leadership, etc. So one subject which is of my fascination is what, is th what are those qualities which separate some people from others, which separate a few from the crowd. And that's one of the reasons why I thought I'll be speaking about those qualities which makes Mukesh deserve this Lifetime Achievement Award. The first quality I would call it as humility. Something on a lighter note. Do you remember that uh, legendary dialogue from Divar? where these two brothers are standing, where Amitabh says to Shashi Kapoor, Dek, dek, mere paas kya hai? Mere paas gaadi hai, bangla hai, property hai, bank balance hai, farmhouse, tere paas kya hai? Do you know what Shashi Kapoor says? He says, mere paas maa hai. Cut to 21st century. How would the Amitabhs of the 21st century say this to Shashi? He'll say, Dek, dek, mere paas kya hai? Mere paas Facebook hai, mere paas uh, Signal hai, mere paas uh, Telegram hai, mere paas WhatsApp hai, mere paas LinkedIn hai, mere paas Instagram hai, tere paas kya hai? After a long pause, Shashi Kapoor says, mere paas kaam hai. Okay, kaam in the sense work. 
most of my friends after 40 years have retired and they're busy on social media. <laughs> but the trouble is, Mukesh, you will not find him on social media. I struggled, struggled to get his resume. We just couldn't find it. This is a very brief about it. And that is one of the reasons we had to call another close friend of ours called Hemant Veda, who is from US, who is going to speak about his family, about his achievements. So that, that is the type of achievement that this person has. So the first quality is of a leader or an emotionally intelligent person is focus. They don't get distracted by WhatsApp and social media. Second is humility, which sets Mukesh apart. The second quality which I admire him in as a leader is the ability to take risks. There are rank holders in our group as any, any VJT group, yes. There were the toppers, there were the Barakshas, the Majumdars, the uh, etc, etc. We had a different class, Kumar, Sudhir and I, we were at the bottom of the class. Mukesh was somewhere in between. But like C.K. Prahlad said, we, we could never strike the fortune at the, at the bottom of the pyramid. Mukesh, I remember somewhere in 1995 when I met him. Actually, he had just returned from Costa Rica. He's quite troubled. The input costs were going up and the factory was not doing well. So I said, Mukesh, what are you going to do? He said, Rajan, down lagaunga. If this doesn't work, I'll go back to Baroda and start the factory. You know, I remember that, which was that uh, uh, Bazi song. Tadbir se bigdi hai, takdir bana de, apne pe bharosa hai to dao laga de. And that is one quality, let me tell you something, which is not taught, not in Harvard, not in IIM, not even in Visit yet. These are the qualities which separates some people from the others. And the third quality, again, a very important com concept in emotional intelligence, is the ability not to get perturbed by events. Kabibi Mukesh ke saath bodo, are relax and chill. Take it easy, man. I'll tell you, last year, somewhere this time, actually this time, 23rd, I was in the US, around 10th or 12th of May, I called Mukesh. I said, Mukesh, how are you doing? Can we meet? He said, come. And this was a bit surprising. Now you might say, what is so surprising that your friend calls you and you call it surprising? Previous one week, I called a number of my friends, relatives, acquaintances. And let me tell you something. 7th of May, India had recorded 400,000 cases. The flights were banned. In fact, we were looked as pariahs in the US. When we used to call friends, they said, sorry. Some people were magnanimous. They'll say, we'll meet on Zoom. Some people were still gracious. They'll say, OK, aisa karte, garden mein milte. One or two said, theek hai. Kuch restaurant mein, but I think at least the table should be eight feet long. And here is a guy who was telling me, Come I said, Mukesh, Look, what do I have? I have two vaccination doses. I said, chill out there. Take it easy. I have done RT-PCR. I said, forget it, you come home. Simple. I said, where does this courage come from? Just think about it. So I said, fine. But the next day, another problem occurred. I said, Mukesh, difficult to come. Because then I realized the logistical part of it. My driving license had just expired. And even if it were to be valid, 
I could not have taken the risk on the American populace and the, the legal implications. So the, how do I drive? When I did Uber calculations, going from Folsom to Bay Area, I think it was costing me around $500 to and fro, which was quite significant. Taking a public transport from Folsom to Bay Area, as you know it better, it would have taken me minimum eight to nine hours, thanks to the public transport in the US. So I said, Mukesh was thought a difficult day. He said, chill out here, what's your problem? I'll send a driver. He sent a driver. Now, for your information, the distance was around 120 miles, which is 200 kilometers, which is more than Bombay to Pune or Bombay to Nasik. And that is the quality. A lot of people ask me, Rajan, what made you come from Bangalore? I said, this is an exceptional quality. Not that I was called, but the ability to take it calmly. Most of us make mountains out of molehills, but here was Mukesh who was making a molehill out of a mountain. <laughs> and I think that's a sign of a good leader. And that's what sets him apart. So the three qualities of emotional intelligence, which I thought of sharing with you, first is humility, simplicity. The second is ability to take risks. And the third is to remain calm and composed even in difficult situations. And I think that sets Mukesh apart. Now, I would have gone on speaking like this, but a friend of mine, Hemant, would like to speak about him. So Hemant will speak more about Mukesh, his family. Hemant lives in the US. Hemant himself is an inventor. Uh, 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 he has his great credentials. Over to you, Hemant, before we go to the citation. First of all, let me say, such a great pleasure to be here on campus after so many years. And I truly feel blessed that I got education in such a great uh, university. So, but we, we are here to celebrate uh, Mukesh. And um, you will hear a lot about uh, his professional career. But I want to share the personal part of Mukesh, his relationship with his family, his, his friends. You got a little glimpse over here. So absolutely right. Uh, Mukesh has many great qualities. But if we have to pick a few, what comes forward first is humility. He is down to earth person. Um, loyalty is the, is the other one. Uh, that uh, one can think of loyal to, loyalty to his uh, family, uh, to his friend. And the, the other one, you'll all agree, is simplicity. Now, how simple uh, Mukesh uh, is. And you wonder where these qualities come from. And you get to meet his family. Uh, so, Rajan, you said, Tumare paas kya hai, mere paas maa hai. Yes, Mukesh will say, mere paas maa hai. Absolutely. And so, so you know, we, we, we say behind every successful man there is a woman. Well, in case of Mukesh, there are two. Uh, his mother, uh, Kanta Ben, uh, who happens to live in the United States, uh, and his wife, uh, Harsha. Uh, Mukesh's mother, at 90, she lives the life of Gita, Bhagavad Gita. And uh, Harsha always grounds uh, Mukesh. Um, now, Mukesh, a genius. So uh, I recall in uh, early 2000, Mukesh invested in a company 
uh, that was a startup company that was making tunable lasers. And the founder of the company reached out to Mukesh and said, Mukesh, I, I need your help. We have quality issue with our product. And uh, Mukesh, you know, always ready to solve problem, said, okay, I'll, I'll be there. Uh, he went there. He set up his office in the lab and uh, assumed the responsibility of a quality engineer. Uh, he started testing parts. So the CEO came to Mukesh and said, Mukesh, you're making us all very uncomfortable. You, you are the investor and you're sitting here doing mundane job. Um, the response was, yes, uh, un unless I roll up my sleeve and start getting into it, how would I know where to start? By the way, your employees will get used to me being here. They will forget that I'm an investor. They will look at me as an engineer and will collaborate and find a solution. And sure enough, within a few weeks, he found a solution. And this, this goes back 20 years ago, but I also know very recently he was involved in a battery company and he was doing the same. He actually was sitting there and doing the uh, test work. Um, Mukesh also loves to experiment with food. And uh, one of the things he mastered during COVID time was making pizza. Uh, relentless. O over months, it was trial and error. And uh, he even went to uh, Sicily and took a pizza making class. Uh, his mother had to tell him that, dear Mukesh, I'm an old lady and I ca can't keep, in keep eating pizza every two days. <laughs> um, but now, if you want to eat the best Neapolitan pizza, is Mukesh's house. And he makes it and he feeds it uh, and he loves uh, feeding friends. Um, the, the latest passion for Mukesh is farming. He, he has a farm in uh, Samona, Sonoma wine country uh, that specializes in organic fruits and vegetables. Uh, you will see Mukesh spending uh, two to three days a week plowing fields himself with tractor planting trees, um, harvesting berries, and uh, sharing this bounty with uh, the goodness uh, with his friends and, um, and family. Um, he loves ever ready for hiking, for biking, playing sports, and he enjoys teaching youngsters. You know, he coaches youngsters uh, with the games. Now, Lifetime Achievement Award, I, I know, you know, we look at uh, professional achievements, which is stellar in case of Mukesh. But when you look at the personal side, I believe there is no other person who deserves this better than, uh, than Mukesh. And uh, I, I thank the alumni organization uh, recognizing this gem. That, uh, that Mukesh is. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rajan and Mr. Heyman Peda. I now request Mr. Rajan Parwekar to read the citation being presented to Mr. Mukesh Patel. Okay, before we go ahead, uh, uh, this will be presented to him in the US by uh, our friends Parimal Zaveri and uh, Arun Walawalkar. So I hope that has been taken care of. So citation is a, is a, a, a privilege and honor for me to read citation for my good and great friend. It's with honor and pride that Vizetia Alumni Association on this 23rd day of April 2022 felicitate Mr. Mukesh Patel with a life Lifetime Achievement Award. Sir, we are indeed privileged to have an entrepreneur of your caliber 
amongst us. Beginning with managing your family business after completing your bachelor's of engineering in electrical from Vizete in 1982, you joined the semiconductor industry by starting as a project and test engineer. You are one of the pioneers in modularizing the form factor for memory deployment in computers and embedded systems. This innovation was truly exceptional and paved the path for the development of future technologies. You went on to co-found Smart Modular Technologies in 1988 with a business model based on memory modules and contract manufacturing, you augmented the company by raising its value to billions of dollars and increasing its market value. Startups and new ventures have been blessed by your support as you have been a guiding light for several new endeavors and provided them with your valuable expertise in dozens of tech and related ventures. You have never shied away from contributing your bit to the society and this further glorifies the immense success you have achieved. You have supported several organizations and institutions and one of your most commendable feats include establishing an engineering college in Vidyanagar, Gujarat. I think that deserves a great round of applause. Today, as we felicitate you, is a matter of profound gratitude to have such an elite personality with us. We, the chairman and members of VZTI Alumni Association, felicitate and celebrate your life and glorious career and confer for you the Lifetime Achievement Award. It is with profound respect, admiration and pride that we salute your contribution towards technology, new ventures, society, and the nation at large. Now, let's give a good round of applause. May I request uh, the, the video? How did Thank <laughs> you. 
Rajan for leading the citation and I thank Mr. Parimal Zaveri for the presentation of Mr. Mukesh Patel. Now, we have a few words of acknowledgement by Mr. Patel. <laughs> I am deeply grateful to Vijayate Alumni Association and the Managing Committee, especially Kalyan and Umesh Doshi for this Lifetime Achievement Award. Right after graduating from Vijayate, I joined my family business for a short time that I discovered and developed my passion an interest in manufacturing, which led me to the semiconductor industry. After five years in working in Silicon Valley, I had an opportunity to start smart modular technologies, developing and manufacturing memory products. With hard work, a little bit of luck, and God's grace, it was very successful. This enabled me to foster other ideas in various domains and guide entrepreneurs to deliver innovative products. This remains a passion of mine till today. For all of us sitting here, getting into Vijayate itself was our first achievement. Once there, we were fortunate to get a well-rounded and advanced education, some great teachers and especially courses in solid-state electronics. Without that, I may not even have entered into the semiconductor industry. By the way, I don't know about the rest of you, but our 1982 batch, we also had a lot of fun. At this stage, I would like to get more involved in further developing our alma mater to help VJTI maintain its premier position as a technical institute. I would like to see Vijayadi foster more entrepreneurship. How will that happen? It will take a lot of us committing time and resources to make this possible. And I'm willing to start now. Finally, thanks again to the Alumni Association, our institute, and my classmates of 1982 batch. Thanks. We wholeheartedly congratulate Mr. Patel for his Lifetime Achievement Award. Mr. Mukesh, we are immensely grateful for your inspiring words and wish you a wonderful life ahead. We promise to keep up with ATI's reputation for the great institute it already is. Now, I'd like to invite Dr. Dhiren Patel to felicitate Mr. Sandra Shroff on the behalf of VJTI Alumni Association. Thank you, Dr. Patel. As we near the closing of this evening's felicitations, I'd like to call forth the dignitaries of this evening for the release of souvenir by Jayanti 2021.
Thank you everyone and a special thanks to Mr. Satish Kazi, the founder of VJTI Alumni Association, for relentlessly working to publish this souvenir for the past so many years. Notably, Kazi sir is a former recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award and to say the least, he is the backbone of Vajayanti as we know it. I'd like to remind you all that as had been promised, we have stunning performances awaiting to bedazzle you all right after the vote of thanks. So stay tuned, stay seated for the last of tonight's events. As we proceed towards the end of this evening, with great pleasure, I welcome our Vice Chairman, Mr. Ramesh Toshi, to propose a vote of thanks. He is the key executor of all the projects of VJTI Alumni Association and makes endless follow-ups with donors and institute for triumphant implementation. Let us hear from him. Uh, good evening, friends. Uh, I would, on uh, behalf of Vijita Alumni Association and the Managing Committee, I propose a of thanks to dignitaries on the stage for taking out time and visiting us, visiting your campus. Uh, Harish, Dinanath, Shalini, for uh, the great uh, you know, achievement that has been showered on you today as distinguished alumni. Mr. Mukesh Patel, who is uh, in US and you know, for the Lifetime Achievement Award. <coughs> Mrs. Sandra Shroff, she, just today morning we could get in touch with her and she accepted and she has stayed back for the entire function. Dr. Dhiran Patel, you know, you have been a pillar of source guiding us all the time in last five years that what we have been able to achieve. Uh, our Dr. Gupchu, who has been guiding us continuously uh, for various projects, etc. And <coughs> deans, other senior faculty, students who have helped us in making this program a grand success. Uh, our staff at the Vijayata Alumni office two of them who have been working for last one and a half month continuously. And uh, the non-teaching staff of uh, our campus, VJTI, we are thankful to all of you. We are now going to have a program which performance has been designed and performed by students it will be an excellent program which I request all of you to stay back and this will be followed by dinner. So I wish you all a safe year ahead and uh, Jai Maharashtra, Jai Hind. Thank you very much. Thank you, Doshi, sir, for the word of thanks. I now request all the dignitaries on stage to kindly take their seats in the front row and enjoy the entertainment program put together by the students. Also, I request Parshuram T. Karavade of BE Civil 1984 to kindly collect his ID card from BJTI uh, Office, Alumni Association Office.
I request everyone to please stay seated for the wonderful entertainment program we have planned for you up ahead. Please stay seated. Please kindly note that it will just take a matter of five minutes to get the stage in order. So please stay seated. We request everyone to stay seated. We are about to get started. I request everyone to please take their seats once again. We request Mr. Sumit Maske to please come up on stage. Everyone, please take your seats. The performance is just about to begin. Hello, 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 hello. So good evening all. So before we start up now, there is a small twist. We have our very own Dr. Sumit Maske, alumnus of 1995 and faculty of civil department performing for us. Hello. Hello, good evening all. I am Dr. Sumit Maske uh, of 1995 batch. Before start, start my song, 
let me share speak one sh hindi share jo pahadon se takrata hai use tufan kehte hai jo pahadon se takrata hai use tufan kehte hai jo tufano se takraye use visit ya ka engineer kehte hai hello यादों की बारात निकली है आज दिल के द्वारे दिल के द्वारे सपनों की शहनाई बीते दिनों को पुकारे दिल के द्वारे थोड़ा थोड़ा आवाज वाड़ो ना ये को देना ये को नहीं आवाज दे ये को नहीं आवाज यादों की बारात निकली है आज दिल के द्वारे दिल के द्वारे सपनों की शहनाई बीते दिनों को पुकारे दिल के द्वारे नो प्रॉब्लम आई थिंक देर सम प्रॉब्लम विद द ट्रैक आई डोंट नो वेदर दैट इज नॉट फुल्ली डाउनलोडेड Hello, this song is for all our old alumni. Very old song is there. Please recognize it if it is possible. <laughs> मेरी जहर जब भी तुझे मालूम नहीं तू अभी तक है हसी और मैं जवान तुझ पे कुर्बान मेरी जान मेरी जान मेरी जहर जब भी तुझे मालूम नहीं तू अभी तक है हसी और मैं जवान तुझ पे कुर्बान मेरी जान मेरी जान यशो किया ये बाकुपन जो तुझ में है कहीं नहीं यशो किया ये बाकुपन जो तुझ में है कहीं नहीं दिलों को जीतने का फन जो तुझ में है कहीं नहीं मैं तेरी मैं तेरी आंखों में पा गया दो जहां मैं तेरी मैं तेरी आंखों में पा गया दो जहां मेरी जहर जब भी तुझे मालूम नहीं तू अभी तक है हसी और मैं जवान तुझ पे कुर्बान मेरी जान मेरी जान तू 
मीठे बोल जान मन जो मुस्कुरा के बोल दे तू मीठे बोल जान मन जो मुस्कुरा के बोल दे तो धड़कनों में आज भी शराबी रंग घोल दे ओ सनम ओ सनम मैं तेरा आशिक जाविदा ओ सनम ओ सनम मैं तेरा आशिक जाविदा मेरी जहर जबी तुझे मालूम नहीं तू अभी तक है हसी और मैं जवान तुझ पे कुर्बान मेरी जान मेरी जान मेरी जहर जबी तुझे मालूम नहीं तू अभी तक है हसी और मैं जवान तुझ पे कुर्बान मेरी जान मेरी जान थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच Thank you, sir, for the beautiful start to this program. Now we have Devna, final year EXTC, and Shreyas from third year BTech Computer Science, with an enthralling classical performance, the tunes of Mary Dolina. Devna and Shreyas, you guys were sensational. 
Now we have Chirag, third year B.Tech Mechanical and Harsh Royal, third year EXTC, presenting a melodical blend. <laughs> बनाया गया है मेरे लिए 
के तेरा मेरा एक रास्ता के तेरा मेरा एक रास्ता जिंद मेरी उड़ जब जब सुल्फे तेरी उड़ जब जब सुल्फे तेरी कवारियों का दिल मचले कवारियों का दिल मचले जिंद मेरी ये शाम मस्तानी मधुरोश किए जाए मुझे डो खींचे तेरी और लिए जाए ईशा थैंक यू वाओ दैट वॉज हार्मोनाइजिंग चिराग एंड हर्ष थैंक यू Ensuing, we have Pranjal, second year B.Tech mechanical student, performing a powada, a traditional Marathi ballad that traces its history to more than 750 years. Powadas, often glorified and celebrated deeds of popular folk figures and leaders such as Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, and raised awareness about their feats to the subjects. The stage is all yours, Pranjal. छत्रपती शहाजी महाराजांची सौभाग्यवती झाली जिच्या खुशीतून शिवनेरीवर एका तेजस्वी आणि तपस्वी बाळाचा जन्म झाला अशा स्वराज्य जननी राजमाता जिजाऊ यांना त्रिवार वंदन आणि हा मानाचा मुजरा महाराष्ट्र भूमी बहुगुणी महाराष्ट्र 
भूमि बहुगुणी महाराष्ट्र भूमि बहुगुणी शोभिदे खनी किसी रणमणि संत जन्म ले तिचा कुसुरात संत जन्म ले तिचा कुसुरात संत जन्म ले तिचा कुसुरात शारदा भक्त शोभती खास कलेची नित्य नवी आरास हो जी जी कलेची नित्य नवी आरास हो जी कलेची नित्य नवी आरास हो जी जी घट माथ्या तरी कोकण घट माथ्या तरी कोकण की नंदन वन भाषा तिरवान स्वर्गला वाट जनू हेवा स्वर्गला वाट जनू हेवा स्वर्गला वाट जनू हेवा लाभला सामा देवा की जय जय महाराष्ट्र गावा हो जी 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 की जय जय महाराष्ट्र गावा हो जी जी की जय जय महाराष्ट्र गावा हो जी 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 इतिहास महाराष्ट्र इतिहास महाराष्ट्र संग तो मोटा कष्टाचा सोलाशे साल आना ध्यान सोलाशे साल आना ध्यान सोलाशे साल आना ध्यान योनाच राज्य दिल्ली तकत मोगलाई झाली सर्व देशात हो जी जी मोगलाई झाली सर्व देशात हो जी मोगलाई झाली सर्व देशात हो जी जी महाराष्ट्र पुरा ग्रासला महाराष्ट्र पुरा ग्रासला जणू सूर्याला लागल दिवसाला लागल ग्रहण ती खगरास लागल ग्रहण ती खगरास लागल ग्रहण ती खगरास घातला लांडगा जणू पोखरात जगण्याची आशा नव्हती कोणास हो जी जी जगण्याची आशा नव्हती कोणास हो जी जी जगण्याची आशा नव्हती कोणास हो जी जी निराशेची काळी काजळी महाराष्ट्र मुलखाला गिळी जणू सूर्य कमळ पाकळी सुकुनी आज झाली सावळी चंद्राला भोवती साखळी जणू वाटे मराठा मळी काय लिहिलं असल हो भाळी नाकळे कुणा त्या काळी इतक्यात चमका भाळी बोसल्यांच्या वंशाची कळी शिव सूर्य उगवण्या वेळी झाली सुरू स्त्रोत्र भूपाळी झाला आनंद सर्व भूतळी ऐका मंडळी ऐका तुम्ही राज अहो राज हो जिर राजिर जी जी अहो राज हो जिर राजिर जी जी अहो राज हो जिर राजिर जी जी हे राज जवाबे ही स्त्रींची इच्छा दौडू लागली मोहीम फत्तेच्या इशारा ती उडू लागली साडेसातशे वर्षांनंतर साडेसातशे वर्षांनंतर तमाम मराठी मावळा तर हातावर गर्दन घेऊन ठामपणे उभा राहिला आणि आणि रायगडावर एक बत्तीस मनांच सोनेरी सिंहासन स्थापन झालं शिवकल्याणकारी रयतेच राज्य स्थापून लोक कल्याणकारी राजा शिवबा शिव छत्रपती झाला असा अखंड अक्षमी ललित राजकार धुरंदर प्रौढ प्रताप पुरंदर क्षत्रिय कुलावतंस राजाधिराज महाराज श्री छत्रपती शिवाजी महाराज ही ललकारी रायकडाच्या कडाकडाला आणि मावळ्यांच्या मनामनाला भेदून गेली आणि मग शिवबाळ जणू जन्मला पुत्र शिवबाचा स्वराज्य धर्मनीत पाठ जिजाऊ मातेचा हे जी जी र जी जी र जी जी र जी ओ रामाजी ओ रामाजी तव झाल बाळ शिवबाळ देव मावळचा तानाजी मामशे लार साल जिगरीचा हे जी जी र जी जी र जी जी र जी ओ रामाजी ओ रामाजी ए साजी धनाजी काळ घाल शत्रूचा नाही क बैर जी भिंग जणू डोळ्याचा हे जी जी र जी जी र जी जी र जी ओ रामाजी ओ रामाजी भाग्य फळ बहरल भाग्य पड बहरल महाराष्ट्र भूमीचा मुख्यमंत्र गरज तो महाराष्ट्र धर्माचा मुख्यमंत्र गरज तो महाराष्ट्र धर्माचा मुख्यमंत्र गरज तो महाराष्ट्र धर्माचा बहुजन प्रतिपाल
बालक कुलवाड़ी भूषण राजकार धुरंदर प्रौढ़ प्रताप पुरंदर क्षत्रिय कुलावतंस राजाधिराज महाराज श्री 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 छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज की छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज की जय जय जिजाऊ जय शिवराय धन्यवाद Thank you, Pranjal. You were very energetic. Now we have a groovy dance performance by the Mr. Freshos of the 2019 and 2020. Please give it up for Bhuvan, third year B.Tech Production, and Mihir Khanikar, second year B.Tech Computer Science.
that was so tuneful. Tonight is a trip down the memory lane for most of you present here. So let's dwell in the past for a little longer tonight and enjoy this mellifluous Mohammad Rafi song by Chaitanya Deshpande from second year B.Tech Mechanical. <laughs> Thank you, Chaitanya. 
Subramanya for such a beautiful performance. Next up, we have Richard singing your B-Tech textile and John B, finally your textile, swaying to the tunes of a beautiful blend and portraying a very important message for all of us. <laughs> It was amazing, thank you. For the last of tonight's events, we have VGTI's very own band comprising of Chaitanya Deshpande, second year B.Tech Mechanical, Arvind Munde, third year B.Tech IT, Rusha Pralwar, second year B.Tech Production, led by Yashita Negi, second year B.Tech Textile, performing for us. Give it up for them.
Sorry to keep you waiting. We're just setting up for a better experience for you. So please be patient, sir. Thank you. Hello, hi, so uh, good evening. 
This is the band of EJTI and I'd like to introduce ourselves. Myself, Yashita Negi. This is Rushab, our guitarist. This is uh, Chaitanya, he's the other vocalist, I'm the other vocalist. And this is uh, Arvind, he's also <laughs>
गुलाबी आंखें जो तेरी देखी शराबी दिल हो गया संभालो मुझको ओ मेरे यारों संभलना मुश्किल हो गया मैं लुट गया माल के दिल का कहा मैं कहीं का ना रहा क्या कहूँ मैं दुर्बा बुराई जा तू तेरी आँखों का ये मेरा का दिल हो गया आके जो तेरी देखी शराबी दिल जब आए प्यार बरसाए हमको तरसाए ऐसा कोई साथी हो ऐसा कोई प्रेमी हो प्यास दिल की जाए नीले नीले अंबर पर चांद जब आए चार बरसाए हमको तरसाए ऐसा कोई साथी हो ऐसा कोई प्रेमी हो प्यास दिल की बुझा जाए नीले नीले अंबर पर चांद जब आए चार बरसाए ओ ऊंचे ऊंचे पर्वत जब चूमते हैं अंबर को प्यासा प्यासा अंबर जब चूमता है सागर को ऊंचे ऊंचे पर्वत जब चूमते हैं अंबर को प्यासा प्यासा अंबर जब चूमता है सागर को प्यार से कसने को बाहों में बसने को दिल मेरा लल जाए कोई प्रेमी हो प्यास दिल की नीले नीले अंबर पर चांद जब आए प्यार बरसाए हमको तरसाए ऐसा कोई साथी हो ऐसा कोई प्रेमी हो प्यास दिल की बुझा जाए नीले नीले अंबर पर चांद जब आए प्यार बरसाए
दत्तानों ने पाला है अंदर काला बाहर काला पर सच्चा है साला For all our senior alumni wishing to dine early, they may please kindly proceed to the football ground for a sumptuous dinner.
हेलो
ना मेरी हैसियत पूछो तेरे बिन एक दिन जैसे सौ साल है अंजाम है ते मेरा होना तुम्हें है मेरा जितनी भी हो दूरिया फिलहाल है ये दूरिया फिलहाल है समझो पर इश्क को हमारे नजरों पे दोस्त मैंने नहीं तुम्हारे पल मंजर में तुम हमारे घर इश्क से है मिला फिर दर्द से क्या गिला खुशहाल है ये दूरिया फिलहाल है खैरियत पूछो कभी तो कैफियत पूछो तुम्हारे बिन दीवाने का क्या हाल है दिल मेरा दे मेरी हैसियत पूछो तेरे बिन एक दिन जैसे सौ साल नशे सी चढ़ गई ओ कु नशे सी चढ़ गई पतंग सी लड़ गई ओ कु पतंग सी लड़ गई पास पास नशे सी चढ़ गई ओ कु नशे सी चढ़ गई पतंग सी लड़ गई ओ कु पतंग सी लड़ गई ऐसे खेचे दिल के पेचे गले बन गई नशे सी चढ़ गई ओ कु नशे सी चढ़ गई पतंग सी लड़ गई ओ कु पतंग सी लड़ गई कहती हुंदी सी चल तक रावणा दे ओ तारे ने पसंद मैनू हेठा सारे ला दे तारे जो मैं वेखेंगी मेरी याद जदों आऊगी तो पता लगूगा दिल लाल लाले नहीं तुला वाली है दिल तेरा जदों टुटूगा तो दिल लाल लाले नहीं तुला वाली है दिल तेरा जदों टुटूगा तो पता लगूगा दिल लाल लाले नहीं तुला वाली है दिल तेरा जदों टुटूगा तो पता लगूगा 
Thank you, sir. कभी से बादल बरसे ओके ओके सर Friends, I am Prakash Surve from 1977 Electrical, and 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 just I got you know this extempore idea after coming here and watching you all youngsters performing so well. So I felt that why not me also contribute something. Thank you. Only thing is I need a track now. छूलेने दो नाजुक होटो को कुछ और नहीं है जाम है कुदरत ने जो हमको बख्शा है उदरत ने हसी इनाम है ये छूलेने दो नाजुक होटो को शर्मा के यू ही खो देना रंगीन जवानी की घड़िया शर्मा के यू ही खो देना रंगीन जवानी की घड़िया बेताब दड़कते सीनों का अरमान भरा पैगाम है ये छूले ने दो नाजुक होटो को कुछ कम नहीं है जाम है ये कुदरत ने जो हमको बख्शा है वो सबसे हसी नाम है ये चूले ने दो नाजुक होटो को दुनिया की पुरानी आदत है
अच्छों को बुरा साबित करना दुनिया की पुरानी आदत है इस मय को मुबारक चीज समझ माना के बहुत बदनाम है ये छोले ने दो नाजुक होटो को कुछ और नहीं है जाम है ये कुदरत ने जो हमको बख्शा है वो सबसे हसी इनाम है ये छोले ने दो नाजुक होटो को थैंक यू वेरी मच फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड एंड थैंक यू टू ऑल ऑर्गेनाइजर्स प्लीज